even when you send out books to your friends, right? Even when you send things out to people that they don't always, I'm guilty of it, right? We're busy, we're living life, we're doing things. We don't always get a chance. But there's some folks that I, I text this weekend because I wanted them to share this with me. And here's one. Hi, Tim Story. Okay, first let's talk about that dress you were wearing. Come on now. You saw my dress last night? I saw your dress, but because I know you love to dress. So how many options were there before you decided to wear that amazing Academy Award dress? One. You just knew? You know, I still don't like to shop, though. You know, I'm not the I'm not the shopper. So I ordered that one dress. And let me tell you, if it didn't fit, it was going to be a problem last night. But praise the Lord. Yes. It, like a glove. <laughs> but listen, that that dress was phenomenal. I was going to call you. Gerald up and say, get some more bodyguards. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. OK, so, Tim, I text you this weekend. And I asked you to just come on and go live with me for a second here. Yeah. Because as I was sharing, um, you know, my new book is officially launching today. Redefine Wealth it's for gonna Yourself. It's going to be big. It's going to be big. Listen, it's going to be whatever God needs it to be. I just was obedient. My thing was I want to be obedient and release it into the world. And whatever God does with it is what he does with it. And I am okay. But I felt like. I wanted to make sure that some very specific people really oh I know I text you randomly from time to time and tell you that I love you and yes you but I wanted you to know that you are cemented on page 79 in redefine wealth for yourself I talk about you specifically I want to give you your flowers too like while I can and while yeah. I have the form to do it so um lesson 34 so for those of you that don't know Redefine Wealth for Yourself is based on six pillars. And the second pillar is the people pillar. And there's a section about attract allies and advocates where I talk about just very specific lessons um, that I learned from folks. And number 34, I feel like I really learned from you, Tim, and I want to read it to you. So lesson number 34, remember the important stuff. Acclaimed author, speaker, and life coach, Tim Story, is a master of remembering the important stuff. Tim and I met when we appeared... Ooh, my pages are sticking together here. I have too many stickies in here. <laughs> Tim and I met when we appeared on a TV talk show together. But when we saw each other next, I was impressed by how much he remembered about me and my life. He mentioned several details that matter to me, right down to my daughter's name and age. I have no idea if he keeps impeccable notes or he's gifted with a fantastic memory. But every time I talk with him, I'm delighted by how much he remembers of our previous conversations. Tim makes me feel like he cares about me and our friendship. And I sincerely want to reciprocate and support him whenever I can. You can strengthen your relationships by paying attention to people and understanding what's important to them. Be a good listener and give people to talk about themselves and their priorities. Ask questions to demonstrate sincere interest and concern. And when the opportunity presents itself, ask about those things, not as a means of manipulation, but because you care and you want to grow the relationship, remembering the important stuff will help you do just that. Okay. And, yeah. This means so much to me because number one, I didn't know that. So can I can I get the book on Amazon? Don't send it to me because you're busy. But we can get we can all get on Amazon today. Yeah, everybody can get on Amazon today and order a copy. Okay, so everybody that's on, I want you to buy two fur. It is two fur Monday. Okay. So get two books, one for you and one for somebody else. So thanks for including me. But I'm going to tell you one reason that I really pay attention to you. So I, I actually made a, a small list. Okay. I'm, can I give you my small list? Number one, you are today in the dictionary. Authentic means original, true, genuine, and bona fide. And man, I love that authentic side of you. Because a lot of people throw that around. Ooh, be your authentic self. But they don't really know what it is. Original, true, bona fide, genuine. And I love that you own the fact that people, she's very smart. And she is a leader. And she also has a very strong opinion. 
And so I go on date nights with her and her husband. I'm like the third wheel. <laughs> and I love it because you will tell me and Gerald what you think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so number one, I love your authenticity. The second thing I love that you are called and that you had the guts to answer the call. Because I think after USC and after doing the things you, that you've done in life, you could be so tempted to just be like the rest of the world and let it be all about me. Ooh, it's all about me. But you know what? Your calling called you and you listened and you were willing to cooperate with God's plan. When I say that, what does that mean to you? It means obedience. Everything for me is about obedience and not, not questioning, not second guessing, not trying to force my will, but surrendering and just doing um, as, I'm, as I'm led to do. And it's a powerful place to be because when you have a strong will like you do and, you know, God gave you that strong will to be this powerful woman leader that you are, but also great athlete and everything that you did. But at times when somebody is very strong in one area, they don't submit and they don't yield. Mm -hmm. how, did you, how did you learn how to submit and yield even though you're strong-willed? Oh, that's Tim. Um, I would say through trial and error. I, I don't think <laughs> that it, it was natural. I still fight sometimes, right? Like I still fight. There's this, this book launch is a great example of that because you know, I know how to launch a book. I yeah. know all the things I know how, even with COVID having to go virtual, but I tell you in like October, November, Tim, I felt like the Holy Spirit was like, we're your PR. You need to rest. You're in a season of recovery. And I called you to be content. And this is not for you to try to go push and forth or be, um, you know, so attached to some list yeah. or that stuff. Just, just be still and I got you. And that was hard. I wish I could say that it wasn't hard. Every other day I was like, but God, wait a minute now. Because, you know, I know people. Oh, I, yeah, you do. I know people. I can make some things happen. And I just felt like the Holy Spirit was like, no. And I've learned, like, in meditating on Deuteronomy, right, 28, yes. that, like, I'll be blessed when I obey the voice of the Lord my God. And that's what I have to stay committed to. But I'm not going to say it's easy every day. Some days I'm like, God, why? And I don't necessarily hear anything, but I know to wait with ex expectancy, knowing that if God called me to it, he's going to do what he needs to do. But I think that that is one of the next stages of this young life of yours, is that just think about how young you are. You know, my mother turned 90 last week, and you just turned barely this age right here. Your life is, is so long, and God's with you. Give, let me give you a scripture. Uh, Psalms 92 verse 12 says, the righteous will flourish like a palm tree and they will always bear fruit in their older age and they will remain fresh and green. So mm -hmm. that's why you see people now in their 90s like flourishing. So you are like young, you're like a teenager right now, okay? All right, so let me tell you one other attribute I like about you. You're committed. You're very committed. I want to know where you got that committed side of you that if you say something, you really follow it up. Where did you get that committed side of you? Mm. Honestly, I think it initially started with uh, early on having like an addiction to achievement, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, it's the way that I sought validation. So I learned it in that, but then I learned through therapy and over the years to release my attachment to the validation. But I still had the work ethic of if I'm released, not just to do, I don't just commit to anything. If I'm released to something, then I can see it all the way through, right? Yes. And I, I feel like even just coming from a family of strong Belizean people, like, you know, that just make things happen. Yes, even, I like that. Even with a little, um, I just come from people who make it happen. So let me just say this, because I know I'm on for a shorter time, but I want to say I give you um, credit for being willing to celebrate, because I think a lot of times we don't pause for applause. 
And I like that you have turned it from a birthday day to a birthday week to a birthday month. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that's new for me. So that's something I'm embracing this next part of my life. That's new. I, I'm the queen. I would be the queen of not pausing to applause, not pausing, going from one to the next. And I think it's a part of the reason that God has me in this season of like, slow down. Yeah. Like, thing is like you... You don't need to plow through because you know when you're younger and you're like, oh my gosh, thirty is old. When I was in my when I was eighteen, a thirty year old. <laughs> <laughs> and in your twenties, you're like, ooh, forty is old. I'm gonna get my life together by forty. And now I'm forty, and I feel like I'm I'm just now scratching the surface on like who I really am. Okay, so last last question to you is. Give me one thing from this book that we can really take away to help our lives because we need help. You yeah. know, a lot of folks are just waiting for like the stimulus check. Uh, a lot of people are are just going literally paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Or they're over uh, overspending. Uh, they don't know what the future holds. Give us one thing from this new book that we're all going to buy today. Two of them. Uh, give us one thing that's going to help us. Mm. I think one thing overall, well, first of all, Tim, how did this turn into you interviewing me? I just wanted to read to you and you just, okay, I love you. This is why I, I love Tim. He don't play about me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Give me Thank that you. one. Give me that one thing. Come on. Okay. One thing to take away from this book. Oh, I think, I think the overall message is not to wait for to do what you've been called to do, that it's actually, uh -huh. that these are practical steps that we take um, because it's it's packed with like very specific lessons and exercises and go do this, it's practical. It's not like all theoretical. So don't wait until you think you hit some magic number in the sky, six figures, and now I'm going to think about my purpose and now I'll answer the call and now I'll treat people well and now I'll get these things together. It's actually the reverse. We do these things and the money, is attracted. And, and one of the things and the reasons I want to bring you on and a couple other people today is that people pillar, like honor the relationships in your life because yes. you brought opportunities. This is what I haven't said yet. You brought opportunities into my life that have blessed me in so many ways. And when I look back over just the last five years, I can directly connect you to so many people who to me, whether it was to introduce me to larger audiences or to pay bigger checks or yeah. <laughs> me on things and not not for any reason, but the first time you saw me speak, you were like, I got something for you. And yes. you honored it and you were true to that. And a lot of people say that and you're like, oh, okay, great. But you really did it. And um, that is such a great example for me of what that means. Like this, you are a great example of the people pillar in my life. No, and th and th and thank you for for that. And I have more for you. I have some secrets for you because the, the platforms are just getting bigger. You know that because the world needs your message. You know we we're living in in a mess that has gone to madness, and so people are saying somebody lead the way, and in the way of spirituality even in what you're doing for women, I think that's a big part of what women are looking for in you to just lead them up and out, right? Yeah. But also in helping us in the area of finances because people were not ready for COVID-19 and it really broke them down. And what I like in your books and in your talks is you, you teach us how to maximize what we have, that the little can become much when placed in the hand of the master. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Tim. I love you. Thanks for having me on today. And if you guys don't mind, I'd like to go on another date with you and your husband. <laughs> you got to come to ATL or when we're back in LA, we'll hit you up for date night. Yeah, no, I'm coming to Atlanta because I got to do something. And um, Are you coming? You know, you got to call us. Come on. I'm going to call. You guys yeah. are family, but happy, happy birthday to you. And Life is so good, right? Yeah, I feel and, very good. And everybody that's watching, make sure and uh, buy two books, okay?
So let's buy two books. Let's change your life and somebody else's life. Amen. Life is good. Happy Monday. Talk to you soon. Love you. Love bye bye. Bye bye. Oh my gosh. Why do I just love him so much? Do you guys see? This is this is exactly why I wanted to say though. Um, again, how do I wait? How do I do this? Okay, this is why I just wanted to share this moment. Now you see how Tim, that's my boy. You see how he turned around and interviewed me? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. Yes, if you'll buy another book, that would be a blessing. Tell somebody about it. Let folks know, share, um, share the podcast with them. I have one more person. When, if you're here, you have to uh, request to go live. So click, I don't know, what, what are we supposed to do? First time I ever heard of Tim and I'm so, oh, Tim is amazing. Let it not be the last time. Let it not be the last time. Tim is outstanding. When, Clayball, if you're here, you got to request to go live. Let me find you. Um, let me see all. Oh, I don't see you there. So when Clayball, who I'm bringing up, is another phenomenal person. And it's so funny that he and Tim chose back-to-back -back times because, there we go, because um, Tim is how I met Wynn. Tim is actually how I met Wynn Claybaugh. And so I requested for Wynn to go live. Wynn! Yay! Hi, sweetheart. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh I, I just been sitting here listening to, to you and Tim. I, I forgot that that I have to come on and, and be brilliant. I, I just wanted to sit back and continue listening to the two of you. You are you are supposed to just sit back. Now you know our friend Tim. Just he, he took over. He started interviewing me. You know, but this is what happens when all of your friends are basically mm. people. You don't know. How to you know the the day I connected with Tim, and then he connected me with you. Um, I will bless that day f forever. And and just so everybody knows, um, I'm such a huge fan. Patrice, how many times have I hired you to speak to uh, my group? At least, I'm not exaggerating, at least 30 times in the last several years. That's how much I, I, I love you and believe in, in your message. And, and, and I have so many reasons for wanting to feature you. Uh, thank you so much. I have to tell you guys, so when Tim, when I met Tim, he said to me, oh, I have someone I want to introduce you to. And he said, yeah, yeah, he's the co-founder and dean of Paul Mitchell Schools, right? And I'm like, oh, okay. But I really didn't, I didn't know what that meant, right? I'm like, oh, okay. And at the time, I was so used to people who would say, oh, I have something for you and nothing ever material materialized. So I didn't think anything of it. So you guys, the week that I was at Podcast Movement in 2017, I was getting ready to go downstairs at Podcast Movement for the first time and figure out what I needed to pull my podcast together. I had only decided like a week before that I was launching a podcast. And I'm in the mirror doing my makeup and at like 7 a.m. I get a phone call. Tim texts me, he's like, I call you. And I'm like, okay. And I get a phone call and I spent that whole time putting makeup on and talking to Win Clay Ball. We hit it off. <laughs> We hit it off. I was like, I don't know if this is weird that we were on the phone for so long. We had a great conversation, which led to me speaking to your owners, right? The owners of the Paul Mitchell schools. Oh, I, I, I had to start with the, the top because I believe that leadership trickles down. And if it doesn't start from the top, then there's no way that all those incredible people that we serve, our, our team members and our future professionals are, are going to receive that blessing, yeah. uh, that wonderful message. And so, yeah, that was the first audience, Patrice you need to be in, on stage in front of that leadership group. And um, that was the beginning of my career of stalking Patrice Washington. Can I tell you guys something amazing though about that time? That was the first time that I had done a new talk. My new talk that was around the six pillars. Really? Your audience was the very first time I oh had done Oh my gosh. You know what? Everything happens for a reason exactly the way it's supposed to, when it's supposed to happen because you know, we were at a, at a critical point in our Plum Mitchell school career, very, very successful, over 100 schools. The plan was to open seven. We now have over 100. And uh, it was at that point where, yeah, the, the money is important. Yeah, the culture is important, philanthropy. But uh, if, if it's not 
coming from us in our leadership, meaning if we don't feel it in our heart, uh, then, then we're going to miss out on, on the next wave of success. And, and what we were missing, I felt, is exactly the message that you share in those, those six pillars. You know, when, when you and I started having that conversation about, about wealth and, and success, you immediately said to me that, that wealth has 100% nothing to do with money. And that just rang true for me. Oh, and by the way, when Tim introduced me to you, I, I don't know if I told you this, but he submitted like four different candidates, I'll say, four different people, because I was asking him, Tim, I need somebody on this topic. I need this type of a, a mentor to come to my group. And four different candidates, and I don't know why, because it was just a photo. It was just a photo and a little tiny bio of the four. I was immediately drawn to you, and I, 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 I've learned to trust my heart and trust my gut. And the message that you delivered, for you to say that it was the first time that you shared that message with, a, with an audience at the stage, it, it was the brilliant timing for you, obviously, but it, let me tell you something. What it did for my group was truly magical. From there, it's like, you need to go to each one of my school locations. I have put you on stage in front of my future professionals in front of 2,000 people, which yeah. is a very different audience. Yeah. So you, you, you speak to, to, to owners and leaders who are old like me, but then to that young generation, you know, that, that millennial, the, the Gen Y, the Gen Z. And, and your message was just as strong and powerful to them, starting off in their career brand new, probably getting their first car and their first credit card and launching a career. And you were just as strong and powerful to them. So, sweetheart, I have so many reasons to celebrate you on your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Well, I invited you. The reason I text you all last minute over this weekend is because I was just thinking that I really wanted to share this day with so many of the people who have made such an impact in my life um, oh. over the years. And I, I mean, it feels like I've known you for so much longer than I have. I think it's been officially like four years, but it feels like I've known you for like a decade. And I made specific lessons in the book about things I've learned from people um, such as yourself, such as Tim. And I said, Yes, I know you may support me and buy a book, but I don't know if you'll get around to getting to the place where you are in the book. So I want to read to you because you're right after Tim. You're 80. Um, I want to read just something that I learned from you that's helped me redefine wealth. And the lesson is number 35. It's called Make Small Thoughtful Gestures. And it says, Lynn Claybaugh, dean and co-founder of Paul Mitchell Schools, is a pro at the thoughtful gesture. Since I've known him, he has periodically sent me an orchid out of the blue as a thank you for my work with his students. When I spoke for the schools, I charged less than my normal speaking rate, but I did it because I love the students and because I love the relationship I've built with Wynn. His thoughtfulness makes me feel appreciated and respected and it nourishes our friendship. It's great to be on the receiving end of thoughtful gestures, big or small, but one of the best ways to create allies and advocates is to be the one who makes those gestures. I make it a habit to do this in my business. I send a note of gratitude to the event organizers when I have speaking engagements or to podcast guests. Sometimes I'll, spend, I'll send small gifts or treats like my signature candle. Other times, just a handwritten note on custom note cards. The point isn't the cost of whatever I decide to send. The point is to demonstrate my appreciation in a meaningful way. Um, and it goes on to say, say a few other things, but this idea of making small thoughtful gestures you are a master at and i know mm -hmm. that um you know yes you are well off and you are beyond successful like i can't even i like i'm just so floored that i know you that i know mm -hmm. you i can text you then i that i can call you a friend but the way that you make everyone feel so seen um through such gestures is just beautiful. It's such an example to me. And you really, you were one of my first examples, even just four years ago, of someone who was just so consistent about those small thoughtful gestures and letting people know that they're loved and that they're seen. Um, and it's a great lesson for all of us. And I can see how it's elevated my life and how it continues to like elevate the relationships in my life. And I just wanted to thank you publicly for being that person for me. Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, um, it's only nine o'clock in the morning and you already have me crying. I'm not supposed to cry till later in the evening when I'm watching Golden Girls. So I don't know how so early in the morning.
mean to me, but I'm, I'm honored that I would be mentioned uh, in your book, that my name is in your book, uh, just makes me really, really proud. But, and thanks for acknowledging that because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult times of what we're going through out there. And, and I love the conversation that you were having with Tim. Tim was like, oh, well, people are waiting for the stimulus check before they then can move forward with their lives. And I think that because everything happens for a reason and the reason is always for our good, I think that what we've all learned in the last year between COVID and the social unrest and everything that we've learned and gone through, that the lesson is that uh, things don't happen to us, as I learned from you, things happen for us. Yeah. And, and, and the reason is so that we strengthen our relationships. I, I heard somebody say, it's like God sent everybody to their room. The entire planet, just go to your room, take a time out, take a breather. And when you come out, you better have some really good life lessons. And the life lessons are about relationships. You know, yes. my, my, my husband and I, we always said that we wanted more time with our daughter. Well, guess what? We got it maybe it didn't come in the package that we wanted it to come in. It, it came in the package of, guess what? She can't go to school and you're now her teachers. Yeah. Um, but so we're going to complain about that, you know, and you have a daughter uh, as well. And, and so, gosh, the fact that we now get to spend time with, with our, our family, we get to be at home. What, what a gift that is. And, and we get to focus on relationships. And one of my mentors taught me many years ago that, the first email or the first text that I need to send every single day has to be one of, of love and gratitude. It has to be one of appreciation. And what I really, really learned, the power that I have right now is to sell hope. Because there's, there's so much fear out there right now that selling hope is the best commodity. And somebody can be down and out in every way possible. They can be down and out with financial, with um, fighting COVID, losing their jobs, uh, struggling with a, a drug addiction. But if there's a little tiny glimmer of hope, then guess what? We have a chance. And, and yeah. that's what we do is we sell hope. And so, uh, you know, the fact that you acknowledge that, that it's just something as simple as a little handwritten love note, that lost art, because we can send a thousand emails in a second, but that last art, lost art of a handwritten love note to somebody really, really makes a difference. So, so thanks for acknowledging that. It does. It does. You've taught me so much. You've taught me so much. And I just, I thank you for trusting me with your, with your students all over the country, with your, your owners, with, I mean, with everything, letting me meet your family, like all the things. I'm just so grateful um, that our paths have crossed. And I know we have many more years uh, ahead as, as friends and, and, you know, but, just thank you. Can I can I can I ask you one question? Since Tim got to interview you, can I, I ask you a question as well? Well, you can't have friends that are podcasters, interviewers. I know, I know, but you know, you're you're perfect for this. Uh, uh, in our Palm Mitchell schools, we're celebrating 20 years, and so I wanted the celebration to be about the women leaders uh, in our Palm Mitchell schools because in the beauty industry, over 90 percent of hairdressers are women, and yet sometimes the that the people who are running these big companies and manufacturers, the majority of them are men. And I'm really proud of the fact that over 80% of the owners in our Palm Mitchell schools are women. And, and so I just want to celebrate women and, yeah. and the fact that it, it's, it's Women's History Month. You are a strong, beautiful, powerful woman. And yet I see you so transparent. I, I've seen you cry on stage as you s share stories about uh, losing your business and losing your unborn son and just, oh my gosh, those being transparent. Can you just send a, a message out to my Paul Mitchell school yeah. women leaders as, and the entire planet of, of why that's so valuable to be transparent and vulnerable as a leader? Oh my gosh. I think it's, I think it's really important in particular as a leader because we have to get rid of this notion like, like, I've abandoned this idea of perfection, right? Like, this idea of like, oh, I want you to see me as this, whatever you think it is, because I'm nothing without the, the times that have broken me too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I am the person that people respect, admire, love, befriend today because of those bathroom floor moments. 
because of the time in the hospital, because of the challenges in my marriage, because of the challenges as a parent, like any wisdom that people attribute to me did not come from being a perfect 10. They came from times in my life when I felt like a two or a negative two or a negative five. And I feel like that if you only share these mountaintop to mountaintop experiences, you don't allow other people to see what's possible for them. I, I feel the same way about you. I call myself a hope restoring coach because the only wow. thing that I want to do is your point. Like, I believe that my life is selling hope. I believe that I have to share those parts so that people know that they can get off the bathroom floor so that people know there's life after financial loss, so that people know that you can recover from infidelity. Your marriage doesn't have to be over. So people know that you can recover from infertility issues. Like you can go on. Like if we don't share those things, how do people know? Like they don't. Wow. Oftentimes we think that in the moments that we're all by ourselves and we're not. Um, we're not the first, we're not the last, and we don't have to do it alone. And um uh, I think that as a leader, if you hide, if you hide those downtimes and you do the people that you serve a disservice, like you don't, you, you, you strip any hope away from them. Because when people look at you in a certain position and they go, wow, he's up there, she's up there. If they don't know the valley you had to get through to get to that mountaintop experience, then people like, well, I'm in the valley. I, this is my life. And that is a season and instead of seeing that as a temporal situation, like none of this stuff has to be permanent. And um, that's why I do it. Like when that's why I do it. Not because it's easy to tell. Like you said, I still mm. cry. <laughs> I still cry. I still see it. It's still very real. But I also know it didn't happen to me. It happened for me. Mm. And if I don't share, then I would allow whatever my limiting beliefs are about what people could think. I would allow that to block Mm. ability to truly serve people and um thank you for that i i, I have to go reapply now <laughs> um I you, love you just need to know from my heart to yours on your birthday sweetheart i celebrate you and that vulnerability that true true leadership that you display to the planet really really is making a difference uh in the palm Mitchell school world and and beyond and uh Tell, tell Gerald he owes you an amazing date tonight. If not, Tim and I are the backups. <laughs> okay. I love you so much, sweetheart. I love you too. Thank you so much for being here with me. I, I appreciate you. I love you. Tell the family, hey. You know I will. All right. Bye, dear. Bye. Uh, I love, love, love. Okay. Do you got... I love them. So again, a big shout out to Tim Story um, and Wynn Claybaugh. I have a few other people. Hopefully they'll get back to me and I can go live with them today. Real quick, um, Jabrita, Jabrita, Lindsay, and Keji, if you're still here, request to go live. And don't tell me um, no, because you're going to have to do it anyway. You know I'm that type of bossy coach. Um, Jabrita, Keji, and Lindsay. Are y'all still here? Hi, Marsha Ann. Hi, Maritza. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Where are you? So for And as I wait for them, hey, Brie, remember, pick up a copy of Redefine Wealth for yourself. It drops today. It's my fifth book. I'm super excited about it. Um, it's officially International Redefining Wealth Day. Yes. Um, my team applied to give me my own day. Hey, Haley, hi, Ashley, hi. Okay, Jabrita Lindsay. Who was it? her dean? You see, they trying to play me. Hi, Amasha. Hi, Amy. I love you guys. Come on, P2P 3.0. I'm trying to go live with y'all, but I don't see it's it's giving me um weirdness it's giving me weirdness let's see if i can see you i don't see y'all do y'all know how to request to go live i'm not sure okay people keep calling me um listen right brie they better put that request in i just want to say this i know it was jabrita keshi let's see kg 
and Lindsay. I see somebody. If I only, okay, there's Jabrita. Y'all know I'm new at this whole trying to go live stuff. Like I'm still getting the hang of it. And my nails won't let me be great because I can't choose Jabrita's name. Oh, I got it. Okay. I got one of them. We love you too. We love you too. Hi, Jabrita. Oh, Hi, Patrice. <laughs> Lindsay. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Hi, I know. how are you? No, I don't care. Nothing about um being in a bond <laughs> things. <laughs> my phone just won't let me be great. Okay, there's Keji. Cause now we do multiple people. <laughs> that I'm here, I know, honey, but you have to request to go live. I don't know how to was... do it. Else. <laughs> Wait, I can't. <laughs> oh my life! Well, you guys shouldn't have been on here. Come on, oh, that's my coach. Hey, hi, hi, hi everyone! Happy birthday, Patrice! Happy birthday! I, um. I was trying to bring Lindsay up too. Where is Lindsay? Tell her to press the downwards arrow by your name. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Yeah. She just did it. <laughs> I just want to say hi to you guys. Do you see what the star? Yes. Um. <laughs> I hi so much. I got home yesterday um, from California and these flowers were here and I was like, how come there's no names? And my daughter was like, no, there's names. I'm like, well, why did y'all move the card? They moved the card, so I didn't know who it came from. <laughs> and I got the uh, Steve note this morning, and I was like, ah. <laughs> Thank you guys so we much. We love you. I You're love welcome. You. We love you. We You're love you. Welcome. You're so welcome. We um, so appreciate what you do. I'll so much. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. I want to see you guys. I happen to see all your names. And I was like, oh, oh, my flower givers. So I just want to thank you guys so much um, for Bernadette in my world, for being in this, this season of Purpose the Platform. You guys are all graduating this month. So I think the the size of flowers, great birthday gift to me. For you. They're really a nugget of what you got in Purpose the Platform. <laughs> Supposed to be on a meeting, but we're here. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> so just like some, what's your big takeaway from being in this community and seeing like real purpose work, like real purpose work, not the not the fake stuff, the real stuff. That I would <laughs> go ahead, Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> that um, that obedience is a game changer. That it's bigger than me that there are really people who walk through the hell that I went through that need exactly what God has anointed and appointed for me to do. And that there is nothing that needs to stand in my way, not money, not people, not past trauma, like that I was created for such a time as this. And I can be bold and stand in that. So I'm just grateful. I'm just so grateful. Happy birthday. Thanks. I love you. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> Debrita. I would add to that, Patrice, that being in P2P has truly taught me how to step up and step into who you truly are. Um, it's definitely not about money. There's real work required to finding your purpose, living authentically in your truth, and being unapologetic about your journey. And I'm truly grateful for the opportunity to celebrate this day with you, to be in this program with you, um, with phenomenal coaches, with all the work that you have allowed us to do, right? The transparency that takes place here is no joke. Um, it's truly a game changer. And as you were speaking, I said, the thing that came to mind for me was transparency is currency to people's heart. And that's what yeah. you have created. That's, Ooh, that's so created. good. <laughs> um, and that's what you have allowed us to transform. We have, I've never known a community or a space that gives you the watering 
the watering that's needed, that's nutrients to the soul, mind, body, and spirit. So thank you for who you are, for what you do, yes. and for what you provide. Those flowers are just a token of, just a small token mm -hmm. of appreciation. And I just wish we, I know one day we'll be able to do more. So thank you for yes. that. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. And Jabrita has a book coming out. So y'all. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again. I couldn't hear you. It is uh, Mind Your Madness, A Guide to Navigating Trauma. And how long How long were you working on this book or thought about it before P2P? 14 years. 14 years I've had the idea. 14 years I talked myself out of it, back paddled, um, you know, played around with it a little bit and just said, you know, I can't do it. And it literally took me being in this community one day in a few hours yes. to get this book completed. Yes. Oh, I can't get it. I can't wait to read it. I'm so proud. So Thank you so much. It could not have been done had I not had the support of you, the support of this community, uh, the, the ability to heal, right? Because a lot of times yeah. we feel like we have to um, be perfected before we can actually tell our story. And so it gave yeah. me the ability to know I've done some work prior to, but when I got here, I was like, wow, there's still some work that needs to be done. Yes. So this <laughs> space gave us the ability to do the work, to heal, to grow. And now I'm at a place where I'm ready to walk in it and own it 100%. So 100%. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. You. I just love it. I love yes. it. And Keji. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, well, do you know what? It's one of the things is, is the community. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, do I sound clear? Am I cutting out? Okay, cool. You're clear. Um, it's, it's the community because it's quite funny. We, the three of us, were on the phone yesterday. And I, was a, I, was a, I had a very low moment. And I was able to be very transparent with these ladies. And they, first, I wasn't going to say anything, but they dragged it out of me. They dragged it out of me and prayed with me as well. And um, there aren't many communities where you could just meet people randomly they live all the way in america states where i've never been to in my life i live all the way in the uk i met them just 10 weeks ago and we've built such a bond and it's like god has used you to bring this community together with with women who are after the same thing where we're intentional about going after purpose and just what I love about the P2P program, which we're all in right now, is, is it's almost like it was, it, it was this chrysalis where, where God was just like, okay, like Patrice always says, give God something to bless. So this P2P, it was something God used to bless to put me in the incubator where, I'm, where I was able to kind of finish off mm. My, my hibernation or my metamorphosis. And it was only until I was in P2P where I was able to actually finish off a part of my devotional that I just couldn't finish. And it was necessary for our paths to link. And I'm going to be really quick. I remember 2018, I put up a post and I said, I said, I had just found your, um, found you talking to Lisa Bilyeu. Yeah. And I said, one day, I'm going to meet this woman. I'm going to sit right in front of her and ask her questions. And little did I know that mm. God would use your story, what you do, your program, which I never thought I'd go to or, or anything <laughs> like that. He would use that for my transformation and just to kind of kickstart me and push me to the next step where I was going, where I was so stuck before. I was so stuck. So I'm just so grateful. I just want to celebrate you on your birthday. And I pray for many, many more. You know, if this is 40, like, when 50 comes. The like, <laughs> you haven't yeah. even scratched the surface. You haven't even scratched the surface. I am so excited yeah. for the overflow that is getting ready to just pour out on your life. 
I I'm love. so grateful. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm so, we're so blessed to actually have the experience to honor you in this way, Patrice. It yes. is, it's, it's a dream come true for me, truly. It's truly a dream come true and a journey that I never thought God was ordering my steps to yes. come to. So I it's, pray for this. <laughs> So much thank you so much I, I feel like the biggest thing about this birthday for me is just how fulfilled I am like yeah. I'm full and not not because of any stuff or material things I'm literally full because of fruit you know like I'm yeah. full because of people. I'm full because of my family and my clients and the good friends that God has put in my life like Yes. What would matter to turn 40 and have all the things and not have this? Yeah. For me, it's not about like, I got new keys to the car. Like, you know, it's, right. like, it's like, oh my God. Um, and that's what makes you the real deal. Because you're not yes. out here. You got money. You got coins. But it's not <laughs> about that for you. It's not no. about that. Right. No. <laughs> It's legacy. And it's about it's purpose. Legacy. It's legacy, yeah. it's right? It's about legacy. purpose. Yes. It's about healing, changing yes. people's yes. lives. So, I love, we love you. Yeah. Well, love thank you. you. We do. Uh, look, we do. Oh, impromptu. I I appreciate. You. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love you more. <laughs> I threw this hat on for you. <laughs> I was, I had, listen, I was in there putting on my little mascara. <laughs> oh, no. I've got my house dress on. <laughs> you look cute. We Sandy. love you. Look <laughs> you look cute. No, I, I, I thank the group. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Patrice. Bye. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy Bye. birthday. <laughs> thank you so much. I love y'all. Oh, I just we love you. them. Okay, I'm like well past any meeting I was supposed to be on. You know what though? Today is my birthday, and so for that reason, I'm just gonna do what I want to do until you know my assistant calls me and says different. So she always says, "Be ready." Oh, that's so good, Marsha Ann, because I was coming to meet to you next. Are you at work or can you talk, <laughs> Marsha Ann? I'm so glad you said that. Uh, she always says, "Be ready." Are you ready? Because I'm definitely requesting you. Oh, hey, Ashley, are you ready? Gurpreet, where are you at? Now, Gurpreet is all the way in Ireland. So this could, that could be very, I don't know what the time is. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the time is. Hi, Ashley, what you doing? Sam, what you doing? Who wants to go live? That are, that are people I know. Because <laughs> folks I don't know. Marsha is. Oh, wait a minute. on this live marcia and where are you oh man did i miss her there you are marcia ann where are you coming through am i here you're here hi hi <laughs> Jamaica. happiest birthday to you <gasps> Oh my God, we love you so much. I'm going to be like you. You taught me that I can celebrate um, all day. Yeah, all like forever. All my oh, forever. <laughs> oh my God, we love you so much. Uh, I'm smitten. I love you. You're smitten. Oh, Patrice, we I love you so much. You are a world changer. You are a... You just shake us up and shake everything out of us. And you have a community of women in the world. Uh, are you hearing? Oh, my gosh. What's wrong? You're not hearing? Yeah. People keep calling me. I can hear oh, you. Of okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, yeah, we absolutely love you so much. You have changed our lives I'm not just speaking for myself. And like the ladies just said earlier, um, we are connected. Like I believe that the P2P family and everyone under your name connected as this cat 
catalyst of change. Man, we love you. You look fabulous as always, but like you brought the glam out. Oh. Answer my phone. No, why? No. Am I supposed to keep so I think I have to go answer the phone. But I just want to I so good to see your face. I love you so much. I'm so uh, proud of you. You will be on purpose promise one of these weeks. So I'll get to catch up with you and hear all the lovely things that you're doing. Post purpose platform. Absolutely. But I love you. Love you I have to go to a meeting. <laughs> All right. We love you. We love you. We love you. Blessings. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Okay. If you're here, don't forget today is officially um, my 40th birthday. It's also the release of Redefine Wealth for Yourself, my new book. You can go to the link in bio and swipe up or no, go. What am I talking about? Swipe up. Go to the link in bio. You can grab a copy on Amazon. I'm so, so grateful to have this, like all the life lessons over the last 40 years poured into this book. Um, I love you all. I appreciate you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.